Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we are going to be unboxing, we're going to be reviewing, we're going to be looking at the new Speed Paint starter set by the Army Painter. Guys, if you do not somehow know what this is already, it's sort of Army Painter's answer to Citadel's contrast range it's a sort of one coat speed paint that you can just slap on miniatures and get pretty fantastic results with pretty much no effort so guys let me just mention right off the bat that these have arrived for free mike and myself will get a full set of these and we've already been reviewing them on the channel we got these sort of preview copies just a few colors i'm a big fan and as is mike of this range so far we've only used three paints so this is going to give us a better stronger feeling for it but yeah basically it's come for free a little bit we does come out when you get stuff for free so you've got to bear that in mind with any reviewer we you know we like to think we've got some integrity and we're just trying to show you stuff and explain our feelings towards it but bear it in mind no matter what we say it was free so it's always going to affect you some some small amount now let's actually crack down into this and have a look what we got and basically i'll do an unboxing but it's a box of paint guys what do you expect you, you you can sort of imagine what's in here so i have already been outside you know, I didn't, I didn't go out in the cold and the dark to show these little critters my Christmas lights. I've actually smashed some primer on these, ready to roll, and we're going to see what these colours look like momentarily. But let's just have a look what sort of stuff we get presented with the box. So this is their starter speed set, paint set. They're going to bring out a much bigger range, probably a full set, I think. I think they're starting quite small. I feel like there's going to be 32 colours, something like that. But I've had a quick Google, and it looks like some shops have got these up for pre-order, and it's looking like this set's going to be £30 in the UK. Now, there's 10 in this set, so it's putting them about three pounds each i pay about 450 for my contrast paint and they're both 18 mil contrast paints are 18 mil this is 18 milliliters of paint so it's the same quantity and this is gonna be like one pound 50 cheaper like a third off sort of thing um, and it might be even better value with the bigger sets we'll see as we come out and again i don't know if army paint has actually set a release date yet or the price in its entirety back to the box we're gonna get 10 paints in this set we're gonna get a free brush is it really free because you've paid for the box I feel like they probably take that into account we're gonna get a pallid bone so bone color yellow orange red purple light blue because I have already tested the cloudburst blue which was quite a dark blue so this looks like a lighter one we're gonna get a green uh, that says crusader skin do you think that's like a skin tone I'm hoping so because it's the only one that's close uh, getting hardened leather again we have already tested dark wood which is, was a very very dark brown guys if you've not seen any of these paints or any of this do check out the channel there's a bunch of videos by Mike and myself already examining some of this and grey lord grey which we have already seen which is a sort of light grey. As with all of Army Painter's paints, they do let you know that you need to shake this a lot, but they've smashed in the mixing bowls. I think each one's got two mixing bowls preloaded. Gives that sort of quality premium feel, and it also just makes your wrists not hurt as much, that sort of thing. And then they're sticking by one coat and done. What the hell's on my hand? That was quite distracting. Just random red and white. Where did that come from? Anyway, we've got a little QR code here, which we could click on and see what that does, but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll put that in post. So, Throughout this video, I should have mentioned that at the start, I'm probably just going to be applying some of these paints to these miniatures because there's not going to be that much to see in here, I don't think. And I'll just keep mixing it up so you can see some paint being stuck on stuff. And then we can look at how they look at the end of the video. And you can that's probably the most important bit for us. So Army Paint will always include this Wargamers Army Painting Guide free. Please take one. I imagine they're in store somewhere. You can just grab one. And every single one of these videos I mentioned that I'm always surprised that this is actually quite good. It shows you shows the beginners exactly like what they need, why they need it, as well as some techniques and, and how you go about painting and which colour primer it's explained here. It's actually surprisingly good I don't know if they keep changing it but up until recently I was still finding things I didn't know so it's well worth, well worth flicking through and it just comes free with it so it's you know you know props to that I'm just to seeing if they've got anything about this new speed paint I actually can't see anything yet it's just talking about that that dip I think that dip technique might disappear with speed paints but we'll see moving forward but yeah you get one of those you get uh, explanation of the full range of the 130 war paints that they do they need they need the new ones and this is always nice they include if you know if anything smashed broken missing it's got the contact details right there in the box, right on the top. So if you open it and something's gone, you know exactly what to do. As I mentioned, it's going to include a f free brush. And this is the monster brush. I've actually, I actually own this brush, which I paid for. Uh, <laughs> and I can say it's pretty good at painting 
big miniatures very quickly. Haven't tried it specifically with speed paint or contrast paints for that matter. So I think we'll definitely be trying that right now in this video and we'll be able to see how we get on with this actual brush momentarily. It's synth synthetic, so it's nothing, it's nothing particularly special, but it's a big brush with, which starts with a, a nice tip like most brushes do, but you're not really gonna need it. You're just gonna be smashing on speed paints. And then ultimately you're just presented with 10. Like I said, there's nothing to this unboxing, is there? There's just 10 paints in here. There, here's that High Lord blue and it is much lighter than that cloud burst blue which must be coming in like the mega set yeah that this actually looks like blue and this doesn't in the bottle so we've got a blue to come that looks like the sort of thing i might paint ultramarines with we've got pallid bone which looks like black but i'm guessing it's a bone color and it's just how it looks in the bottle so skeletons that sort of thing we've got zealot yellow which hopefully you know if it's anything like the ayandan yellow which is a contrast alternative which is one of my favorite contrast paints because yellow painting yellow sucks so hopefully you know this will be promising and yellow is going to be quick and easy gray lord gray is much i'm oh, sorry i said it was lighter really this is actually darker this is like almost blacky gray but it's very definitely gray but nothing like that basilicum basilinicum gray which is the contrast range there we've got an orange this fire giant the names sort of don't matter but no idea what this looks like excited to see how well their orange does can't get this side out, but we've got hardened leather, which hopefully is like a lighter brown because that dark wood, which was the one we tested before, was very, very dark, very, very useful, but it'd be nice to have a very different brown. Here's blood red, again, maybe like the blood angels red from the Citadel contrast range, but we'll see what the red looks like momentarily. Crusader skin, this is the big one. This is hopefully sort of just generic Caucasian human skin, and that's like one of the most useful ones in, in the painting hobby so we'll see how well that one works and then we've got hive dweller purple purple notoriously in the contrast range sucks i think i've got all of them and all of them suck differently uh so we'll see how that does an orc skin just mentioning the contrast range purple sucking that is one of the the downsides of contrast I, if you watch the channel i've bought my contrast paints i own them all and i use them all the time so as much as i've got problems with them i love contrast painting but one of the bigger problems is obviously that the they're massively inconsistent and it makes it difficult for, especially for beginners, to pick them up and understand how to use them. One of the things from the three colors we've tested so far in this range is that we've noticed these speed paints are very, very consistent, making it a lot easier for beginners. And myself, like I have to memorize which paints you need to thin from the contrast range and which ones just utterly suck and you never ever want to use, that sort of thing. I'm hoping the army paint have gone out of the way and I, I know for a fact they've been working on this for a long time and one of the problems they wanted to solve was the consistency and they wanted to develop a product specifically designed for painting armies incredibly fast so i'm hoping fi they fix consistency and we're about to find out because we've now got 10 colors and ultimately 12 colors based on the other two that i already had so we're going to see how well that comes off we've taken all of the colors for a spin now and let's address them all as a whole and we'll look at some individual colors and talk about them as well as we go through it but basically i've painted with three of these colors before and only one of them's here but i already thought they were fairly consistent i've now painted with 12 in total and one big thing stands out is the consistency of the paint now they're not all perfectly equal and different colors kind of have slightly different effects some of them are less sort of contrasty but that could be the amount of contrast that i applied and some are more sort of poppy and stand out a little bit more but that's a slight consistency differences between the actual colors i think not the texture and how the paint applies which is the biggest thing they're all roughly equal and they all feel the same on the brush and that's one thing i've noticed with contrast paints they don't even feel the same these all felt the same and i felt like i was applying them in the exact same manner and getting the same look and effect now let's talk about speed. They're very similar to contrast paints. You know, the clue is in the name. These are speed paints. I would say about three and a half minutes per one of these miniatures. Obviously I've not put any extra effort into it. I wasn't doing multiple different colors. I might actually go away and do one and see what you can actually achieve if you paint some of the features in a different way. But three and a half minutes for each of these. So it took me about 30, 35 minutes to smash out all of these guys. 
Now they did what you'd expect and they worked and popped out details. You can see just one quick coat of a single color and that's better than the plain plastic was before. And like, if you're not even a big painter, you could literally do that, give it a base and you've got a much, much better looking individual sculpt in a, in a sort of monochrome finish. So you've got that going for you. And I think it, they've done what they're supposed to do. that one quick coat and it gives you a popping out contrasty paint job. Now we do have to remember that these are cheaper, especially in the starter set, they are gonna be saving about £1.50 roughly per paint. So with that price saving in mind, I think that this is a good place to start. And I should also mention this starter set, you do get a very good range of colors. Look at all of these. And this is a fairly accurate sort of skin tone for the average Caucasian male. Uh, you've got the bone color, which is fantastic. You've got a dark blacky gray color. Then you've got some of those sort of go-to colors, haven't you, which has come out a lot. I mean, personally, this green is probably my least favorite of all the colors. It's just too, it's too green. I don't ever paint anything in this green. I prefer a darker green. I like much darker, grittier greens, but that's, you know, this is all subjective. Everyone likes different colors. So let us know in the comments below if you actually like that green. It's a very old schooly gobliny color, isn't it? That's probably my least favorite. Whereas this blue, that's very similar to Talisa blue from contrast uh, is absolutely fantastic. And it might help that I have gone and just given you some examples of painting in a couple of details. And I didn't put any effort in. This is just some silver teeth and eyes. And then I painted the base black. And that is how it looks. Oh, I should mention I painted his claws silver and then added the contrast over the top. Guys, if you didn't see that video, we've already tried some of these contrast paints on metallic miniatures and they come out looking fantastic. Colored metallics with no effort. So check out that video on the channel. But yeah, I think blue is one of my favorites. Um, should mention that this is the purple and before we cracked open the box and had a look at it, I was complaining about the shyish purple in the contrast range. This took no effort. I didn't thin it. I didn't do anything special. And I think the contrast is actually much, much stronger. I, I really dislike shyish purple and this one just straight out of the part seems to do exactly what I'd expect from a dark purple. So I'm very satisfied with this color. Yellow was another one that I mentioned. Ayandan yellow is one of my favorite contrast colors. And this is very, very similar. I can't actually remember if it's any different whatsoever and I haven't got one to hand but I'm very happy with the contrast range in that and this is the kind of reason I don't paint yellow anymore like my yellows suck uh, that looks just as good if not better than I can do and it took three and a half minutes to paint the whole thing imagine how quickly you could paint a small area of yellow what other colors are important I think this is a lighter brown this sort of hardened leather and I think that's a very useful color that's more the sort of thing I would use in the fantasy ranges that I paint I think that's looking great then you've got a whole bunch of other colors oh we should take a closer look at the sort of skin tone it's a little bit higher contrast than I'd like but we need to see this painted on actually a human and getting his face and how Hands and that sort of thing. You can imagine around the eyes that actually looks really good. So that could look absolutely fantastic on a face. Either way, it works the same as the rest. It's just really whether that color sits well with me and we will find out at some point in the near future. We can have a look at both the red and the orange and there's very different differences here. They, they're completely different. Aren't they? This is much closer to sort of an orangey brown. This is quite a bright red, stands out really well. I think again, these have worked fantastically, just doing exactly what they are supposed to do. And then last but not least, these three. As I mentioned, green, it's, it, it, there's nothing wrong with it, right? It's worked. It's done what you'd expect. You can see the details popping out. The recesses are shaded. It's just it's just a color I don't like, and that is very subjective. I think this bone color is going to look fantastic. If we look at sort of the claws, I think that's exactly how I would like his teeth, especially. Look at his teeth are basically perfect. They look like bones with shading around where it meets the gun line. That's exactly what I'm going to be looking for. Oh, his actual tongue's like a spiny bone dead dragony thing, and I think that looks fantastic that's a really good bone color and then we've already seen this on the channel as i said guys if you don't watch the channel check it out we've got like five six contrasty no sorry they're not contrast speed painty videos now examining a few things we can do with them and testing out a bunch of stuff so you guys don't have to but we've already seen grave lord gray and yeah that's a really really nice color and i should mention as well it's a different color to that basilica nakam whatever it's called, the gray in the contrast range, which actually, you know, even if you're a contrast fan over the speed paint, you've, you're just increasing the color range by mixing it up, which is really what I'm probably likely to do. If I want a dark gray, I've got this one. If I want the lighter gray, I've got the contrast range. So ultimately that is 
everything i think we've covered if you've got any questions guys let us know in the comments below happy to help you out if we can and if you would like to see anything tried give us a shout as well let's just once again show you them with a little bit of detail on because i think you really could get away some miniatures just no effort just give them a color and like how much better is that going to look on the table yes yes speed paints guys are nearly nearly here and i'm looking forward to getting the full set and just smashing out so so many paint jobs oh one thing i need to mention from the set is the wargamer monster brush now i did mention this is not a fancy brush it's just a synthetic but you can see that tip has taken a battering which is completely fine to some degree because if you saw me painting i was just absolutely slamming paint into these miniatures uh taking no care not looking after the brush at all and that's really when you're painting this much, this amount, this area of miniature, that is kind of what you're going to be doing with these speed paints, this contrast paint style. Um, so, yeah, it's nice they give you a brush with it. That's a big size and you're not going to worry too much about because if you watch the channel, you've seen over the years, I've been wrecking my £15 brushes, my Redgrass Games ones, we're doing the same thing. So it's kind of like take it as you you will it's not the best brush in the world but it is going to get the job done and it works fine with these when you're not trying to paint very fine detail thank you all ever so much for watching and i will see you again soon and how strong your integrity is there is always a chance of talking shit.